Hey boys and girls, today we're carrying on to dechrome this uh, E65 7 series. So we're gonna leave um, this section chrome and just gonna um, uh, take off uh, the, outer, um, uh, the outer rim, the outer edge and paint that gloss black. So it's actually a lot easier than we anticipated. So you just pop your hood up. Uh, all these clips you just undo by hand, or if they're not, if they're a bit stubborn, these are actually already sort of undone. And there's also a couple of clips on the side. There's one here and one just under there. So you gotta get a screwdriver in there, like this, and just kind of you'll feel it unclip in there and just pull it off. And then we're gonna show you how to spray it gloss black or any color you want. In the meantime, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh yes, Yuki Duke is creating a masterpiece. What's up G? Yeah man. Is everything dope? Is everything looking dope right now? That's right. That's some pimping rims there of Jag XF. They were pretty, pretty knackered before. A bit of sand down, respray in our new booth, <laughs> and job done. Right, next we're going to show you how to um, respray the grill. When you've taken off your grills, um, sand them down with some, uh, uh, starting with uh, 180. And then uh, with 500 to smooth them down. Energy. Yeah, man. <laughs> so we're gonna smooth them down, and then uh, Duke, the spray master, gonna give them a spray. You can't do it by hand, uh, but I mean, you can do it by machine, but by hand. Actually, 180 is not doing anything because it's probably quite tough chrome. So maybe get 80. And trying doing it with a machine, so we're gonna give it a go with a machine. Right, guys, because this is uh, good German engineering and not some of your piece of shit Ford or something, uh, the uh, grill is quite tough actually, you can't sand it down by hand. So get yourself a palm sander for about 10 quid. Um, use, we're using 125 um, grade, uh, we don't want it too coarse. So um, you see, I've been sanding it down here. So you just want to take off the shininess, so make it quite matte, so that you can uh, layer a layer of primer there and then paint it. So literally, just let it do its work. Just use, use the flat bit for these, and then where you have some chips, it's a good idea to take, like, take them out. So put it on the side and just rub it against the chip for a while, and the, and the chip will come off eventually. Might, might take some time, but I mean, as long as there's no, you know, no edge on there, it's fine. So carry on until it's all like this, basically. Yo, 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 Spray Master Duke is on the decks. Careful you don't elbow those wheels you just did, Master Duke. <laughs> Look, he's good at shaking too. No wonder he spent so much time indoors having his private time. <laughs> All right, guys, you gotta warm up the can properly, especially in this cold weather. Otherwise, it will spit like a no good. Yes. I don't need to film me. Do you have to have my permission to film? No, I don't. No, no new on private property so I can film what I like. You dirty slag. Uh, so that means you are. Yeah, you. 
<laughs> the other thing is, if you don't want to use this, the other option is a bucket of hot water. At the moment, it is cold, but if you have a bottle of hot water, it's even it's better. But we couldn't be bothered to uh, boil so many kettles. Right, hit it, Duke. So, guys, we've um, obviously, yeah, let me quickly explain. Um, taking these grills off, uh, they are plastic, but they actually look like, look like metal. And they are very tough, so we had to uh, use 80 grade, grade, grade sandpaper to grind down all the uh, shiny chrome um, so that the uh, area is nice and matty. And we're ready for lay laying the primer on. Don't be stingy with the grill on paint, primer, and lacquer, as, uh, as it has to be strong, it has to be a good layer. So go on. Hit it, G! Obviously, a lot, a lot better if you had a um, compressor air gun, but we're not as advanced here. Plus, this show is about showing you how to do it on the cheap, and this is on the cheap. So, looking sexy already. Maybe we should just leave them like that. Nah, looking good. So, ready. Well, not ready yet, but we obviously let them dry properly, let, and then you're ready to give a couple of coats. Don't do that, obviously, what he did, but it's only primer, so it's right. Uh, careful of the back wheel, see, he's gonna fucking bomb the back wheel as well. <laughs> All right, nice one. All right, we've primed this yesterday. It's nice and dry now. We've also sanded down any um, bumps or imperfections. So now it's ready for the first coat of gloss black. First coat is laid down, do the first coat fairly thin, let it dry for a good uh, hour or so because uh, it really needs to stick good. Uh, don't put too much on in the first coat so that it doesn't run, so it's nice and smooth. After about 40 minutes, the uh, first coat is uh, nice and touch dry, so you're ready for the second coat. Um, before you um, uh, plan to do anything, make sure you've got the tools and uh, you know materials for it. I started showing you how to um, you know respray these. I've done the first coat, and then I realized I ran out of uh, spray paint. So here we are. We've got some spray paint, nice and cheap, about a pound. There. Plus, it's a good idea to get yourself one of these, also about a pound. Air duster. Um, you know, if any air gets um, on your paintwork, you don't want to don't want to paint over it. So you just give it give it a good blast. Make sure all the air the air cleans out any any dust off of it. And now give it a good shake as usual, as you do every day. And give it a nice thick second coat. And then you're ready for lacquer. Lacquering probably about two, three coats as well. Oh, you can got a handle. Okay, boys and girls. Always use protection. You wanna inhale the good scent, Semilia, not the dangerous fumes, as I say.
Then um, don't be a complete uh, stinge bag and uh, get one of these for a fiver and help with or something, much easier to spray. And then give it a nice second coat. You'll be actually saving in paint because uh, you're controlling the spray a lot better with this. So good find, Duke. Good invention and very good tip for our dedicated viewers. Of course they're fucking dedicated viewers because we're the best uh, car show on the planet right now, I think. All the other boring bastards ain't got shit. They either show you how to do up cars that cost impossibly a lot of money or how to buy shit that costs impossibly a lot of money, um, etc, etc. We are keeping it real here <laughs> and showing you how to do a lot with not much money. So that's what we're all about, boys and girls. So make sure you subscribe and you'll see a lot of cars being done and a lot of shit being done which you never have even thought of. So I think that's enough. And then we're gonna lack of this bad boy. <laughs>